back to my channel and if you're new here welcome welcome to our community to my channel today I am so excited to talk to you guys about an amazing luxury brand I recently discovered oh my goodness you guys I cannot wait I was just beside myself when I first got my nose on these fragrances if you guys want to see the fragrances I have from this brand and my thoughts on it stay tuned I feel like an explorer who for the first time found new land, made some kind of amazing discovery. That's how I feel about this brand, you guys. When I first got my nose on these fragrances, you guys, I was floored because I had never ever smelled anything so elegant, so classy, so elegant. Elegant is the word. I couldn't think of any other word. Very different from anything I have in my collection. Very refreshing, very new. It's a luxury fragrance house founded in 2018. So it's fairly new. This is going to be off the charts here in a few years, you guys. It's amazing. So this is what I received right here from Hervé Laurent. So this brand is, uh, like I said, luxury, luxury perfumes. So I received two fragrances from this brand, you guys. They are just out of this world, very different, super elegant. It is Lady D'Amour and Lady De Jour. So these are gorgeous, elegant fragrances, you guys. Sorry, spoiler alert. The packaging is super elegant, you guys. Very minimalistic and elegant. And it says Hervé Laurent here. These are 50 ml, 1.7 fluid ounce bottles, you guys. And each of them retail for $250. So they are luxury prices, but they are so elegant, so elegant. First, I want to talk about Lady D'Amour, which is the most elegant, sophisticated, gorgeous fragrance. Seriously, when it first arrived, I sprayed it on and my husband's, the words that came out of his mouth was, woo, elegant. So this is really directly out of his mouth. Beautifully elegant, super sophisticated fragrance, you guys. I don't have anything this elegant in my collection yet. So this one is, again, I don't need to spray this. I can smell it over here. This is Extrait de Parfum concentration and that's the only concentration Hervé Laurent does. It's very, very, very potent. This fragrance is very much an elite, prestigious type of fragrance. That's what I think of when I smell this. Elite, prestigious, elegant sophisticated at the same time beautifully feminine and sensual gorgeous fragrance you guys very sensual feminine elegant classy sophisticated prestigious just as it's in a class of its own you guys amazingly elegant i have really don't have words to describe and emphasize just how elegant and prestigious and classy and sophisticated this fragrance is. I truly don't have anything like this in my collection. The last time I was blown away by a fragrance house is the Anna Terenzi, you guys. I mean, when I first smelled a bit, it's kind of, I'm um, having a similar kind of reaction here, but Tibet is a is a different fragrance and these ones are very much that elegant and classy, prestigious, very sophisticated. It's like black tie, white tie kind of fragrance. I imagine a beautiful, elegant woman in a very long evening gown with a red lip wearing this fragrance, you know? The thing that kind of blows me away the most, you guys, are the fragrance notes and the accords in these fragrances. Like, I mean, I will talk about the other one too, the fragrance notes in this is just so different and the, the note structure is very different. I will get to that here in a second. So in the opening we have Bellflower. I do not have a fragrance in my collection that has Bellflower. Bellflower is this gorgeous bell-like blue-violet kind of flower that's beautiful. It's kind of like powdery. And then you have that Sicilian lemon with that beautiful burst of freshness, citrus freshness. And then you have that crispiness of apple. And then you have floral wood. 
It's just the most interesting opening ever, you guys. And in the middle you have bamboo, white rose, tea rose, mint and jasmine. White rose and tea rose? I don't think I have any fragrance with white rose and tea rose notes. So elegant, so very elegant. And that mint in the middle adds that beautiful kind of soft freshness to this fragrance, even in the middle. In the base, in the base, you have gardenia, tuberose. Have you ever heard of that before? I've never ever seen in the base notes expensive fragrance oils like gardenia and tuberose in the base notes. The base is what lasts, the dry down. That's what lasts on your skin for the rest of the day. I've never seen that before. In the base you usually get you know, the woody notes, you get the musk, the vetiver, that sort of like grounding kind of notes. You get, you know, maybe vanilla. They're never like that sort of floral, especially if, if expensive floral notes, I've never seen in the base. So of course in the base, this does have musk adding that sexy touch to this fragrance and there's amber, which makes the sexiness even more and rounds it up. And then there's cedar for woody notes. So it does have base notes that are, you know, kind of typical, amber, musk, and cedar. But that gardenia and tuberose, you guys, that's very different. And that's what makes this fragrance elegant through and through. Opening, middle, base, all throughout. From the time you spray this to the time you wear it. So I, I'm going to actually spray this just so that I can smell like this all day long. Oh my god, you guys, I smell like a million bucks. I smell like a lady. I smell like a very rich lady wearing the most expensive clothes, expensive jewelry, going to a very elegant event, black tie or white tie event. You guys, it's just so elegant. Elegant is the word. I'm trying to come up with more descriptive words, but, but really this is the epitome of elegance, sophistication prestige that's those are the words that pop into my head i am blown away you guys i'm blown away gorgeous kind of creamy elegant dry down to this fragrance that that creaminess comes from that tuberose you know and then the gardenia is this beautiful bouquet of flowers white flowers in the in the base that just lingers and by the way the lasting power is to die for this lasts and lasts and lasts and lasts, you guys. It'll last, if you spray it in the morning, it'll last till you go to bed. It's extrait de parfum and it'll last on you forever. Very high quality. It's got really good projection and sillage, amazing fragrance. When you walk past people, they'll be like, who's that lady? That's what you're gonna get. I cannot wait to have the proper kind of occasion to wear this fragrance. To be honest, I am impatient. I do not want to wait for COVID to end for me to have elegant functions. I'm going to wear this fragrance when I go to the theater and have a very elegant night and elegant dinner at a high-end restaurant. I'm going to wear this fragrance, but really what I want to wear this to is like a ball, you know, like wear it to a ball, to a dance, some elegant function. I really feel like a lady. It really makes me feel some kind of way, you guys. When I wear this fragrance, I feel that way. I feel like a lady. I want to get dressed in my beautiful black long evening dress. I want to wear my Christian Louboutins. I want to put my red lips on and then I want to go to a very elegant black tie event. That's what this makes me feel like. It just makes me feel some kind of way, you guys. It's I don't have anything like this in my collection, nothing, nothing like it. I feel like Hervé Laurent is the next big thing, you guys, the next big thing. I'm in love with this one, Lady Demont. Oh, so elegant, oh my goodness. Amour means love, so it's Lady of Love, so it's a, a fragrance that is very sensual, embodies that feeling of love. So the next one is Lady Du Jour. So that means lady of the day. The other one, Lady de Moor, is lady of love. So this one is lady of the day, and I am assuming this one is going to be more daytime appropriate. So it's the same packaging, same 1.7 fluid ounce bottle, 
this is the bottle um oh it's the most pretty 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 elegant beautiful gorgeous fragrance i love them both so much i don't have to spray this either you guys but i'm going to spray it on my other arm here in a minute again very elegant super elegant very sophisticated very refined this one smells like a gorgeous elegant rose garden you guys i mean right away i can smell the rose in here there's rose i believe in the top notes so in the opening you get rose like i said i can smell the rose there's green berry there's cumin for a sort of soft spicy touch and then there is floral wood ah oh, so pretty it it smells like a gorgeous bouquet of roses a, a rose garden i feel like nobility a lady walking in a, an elegant beautiful summer dress in a rose garden the middle is again very interesting you guys there's tuberose which is typically you get tuberose in the middle uh, it's a very expensive fragrance oil you get tuberose which is you know typical to the middle notes but then with tuberose you get vetiver which you don't usually get in the middle which adds that slight earthiness that hence that rose garden feeling even more intensified with the rose and the vetiver with the earthiness there's that beautiful plum note that adds that gorgeous fruitiness to this this middle of this fragrance and then there's musk in the middle not the base that adds this very sexy sort of edge and in the base you guys you get gardenia again gardenia again i'm not used to seeing white florals like gardenia tuberose that sort of notes in the in the base this one again this one has gardenia in the base gorgeous because that's going to last on your skin the dry down base is what's going to be there for the for the whole day so it's going to be this gorgeous classy beautiful gardenia with that top you know rose in the top that sort of dries down to that beautiful gardenia and then this is kind of oody you guys this has argo wood that's oud in the base and then there's guaiac wood. Guaiac wood really goes very well with argo wood, oud. And then there's olibanum, which is also known as frankincense, which is a resin balsam category note. So this is a very rose, white floral, tuberose, soft spicy, musky, sweet, balsamic, oudy, woody fragrance, you guys. So Hervé Laurent's Lady d'Amour is for nighttime wear and Lady de Jour is for daytime wear, you guys. These are the most elegant, sophisticated, prestigious, high-class fragrances. This one is even a step above some of the most amazing, you know, high-end luxury fragrances that I have, I feel like, you guys just because of the uniqueness of these fragrances and you know i have a lot of luxury fragrances and i've gotten my nose on pretty much every luxury fragrance you can possibly imagine uh, if i don't own them i still have gotten my nose on them i'm so glad this fragrance house sent me these fragrances it's going to be the next big luxury brand i am sure of it i feel very special and humbled at the same time Thank you, Hervé Laurent, Lady de Moore, and Lady de Jour by Hervé Laurent. I hope you guys enjoyed this review of these amazingly elegant perfumes. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you will be notified every time I upload so you won't miss any of these amazing discoveries of mine. I will see you guys in my next video.